morning everybody welcome back to the channel i know in my last video that i said i'd be in the garage working on the mustang sorry i kind of lied well only half lied i'll still be in the garage working on the car but it won't be the mustang be my buddy's s2000 i'm kind of excited because i've never worked on an s2000 before and i gonna try to talk him into letting me drive it because I've never driven one either. I'd really like to know if I fit in it. So we'll find that out here shortly. But if it's your first time visiting the channel, do me a favor right quick. Scroll down, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on for me. I'll greatly appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you like and dislike. I enjoy reading them all. It doesn't matter if they're good or bad. And at the end of the video, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up for me, please. And thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Now let's get to the video. I just see my buddy Rayman down at the bottom of the hill. He's on his way up, and I don't know if he's going to be able to make it up the driveway because it's a very, very steep slope. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, so uh, we're going to see here in a second if he can get up the driveway and into the garage. <laughs> so, hopefully. Uh -oh. Think he'll make it? All right, Ray, we've got Rayman's car in here. It's a pretty clean engine bay for as hard as he drives it. Well, if you come in on the block over here, if you, if you'll know if you have a J Japanese replacement, these engines are getting harder to come by. You keep fucking putting big ass turbos on it, blowing them up, you know? True. Um, but no one wants to turbo the JDM ones because of the higher compression. So you might buy an S2000, you'll come across an F20C without a one following. I don't following. think I can see that. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see, but it'll say F20C on this stamp. There won't be a one following it. That's a Japanese engine. That's how tell GDM. Yeah, and and if you're buying them and you find that this heat shield's cut out and you're missing the exhaust, uh, the, the uh, exhaust that, heat shield. Yeah, the, the heat shield on the exhaust header, and there's all sorts of scourge marks on it. And more than like, there's been a turbo kit on the car at some point. And if you're looking for something to you know drive reliably, I'd walk away. Huh. But yeah, there's. So does this have like this the. This doesn't have a JDM ECU, right? No, you have to use the American ECU. You have to switch in U.S. coils, and you have to switch in a U.S. Uh, VTEC solenoid. Nice. And then after that, you uh, put all the uh, U.S. emissions parts on it, and the car will fire right up. Uh, you just have to make sure you use 93 or higher. Sweet. So Dude, This is a sweet car, man. I like it, man. Nice. But all sorts of things to look for. So do you know what the compression ratio is, then? The Real, 10 to it's, 1? It's something, I think it's 10 and a half to 1. 10 and a half to 1? Yeah, nice. it's pretty high. That's sweet. Yeah. 120 horsepower per, per liter? Yeah, this, this engine actually makes um, 249 horsepower at the crank. Oh, so like 200. It's, like it's about 10 horsepower higher, but I'm pretty sure the, the effects get negated out by the ECU anyway. Since oh. it's on the US ECU. So it limits it? Yeah. Nice. But, uh, that's yeah. crazy. That's like two horsepower per cubic inch. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. impressive. They're great cars, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> since he has it two inches off the ground and it's not bagged, <laughs> we had to use that little jack and then use the big jack. So now we can get the tire off finally. What a pain in the arse. Is it off or? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Right, cool, let's get this tire off. So, you have how many miles on this? 800, 800 miles. Dude, look how scorched these are already. This is Mr. I don't drive that hard. Look at that. You got a, a lip on there, bro. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So yeah, Honda tells you to use this thing, which is terrible. But yeah, if you just get yourself a, you know, six inch half, half drive extension there, it works out pretty good. It's a little greasy. But definitely a little greasy. Gets the job done. Yeah, this is terrible. I wish I had my low pro jack. Yeah. Alright, so on the so on the rear caliper back here we did get some uh, air out of it, so that should definitely help with his brake pedal. And he's thinking that there's probably some more air in this other rear one. That's so what you said, do you think the air the, the rear is right? Yeah, yeah, it's just the rear. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a little more air out of this rear and then that'll fix the problem that he's having. Hopefully. Oh shit, how low are we on fluid? It's, it's like it's at the max or it's a little under the max line here right? good got it 
Let's see here. Okay, we're good. No air. No air at all. No air, buddy. So all the brakes are bled, all the air is out of the system, so hopefully um, works the way Rain Man wants it to. Just gotta put the wheels back on and go for a ride. I think the master cylinder is about capped out, but it's better than it was, so. Well, that's good. Now we got that taken care of. We're gonna put the Mustang away and hopefully go have some fun driving the S2K. All right, so let's see if a six foot tall, 300 pound fat guy can fit in this little car. Dude, I don't know, this looks rough. Oh, fuck. What? That ain't that bad. No. Okay, so a fat guy can fit in this. Is it in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's like the shortest throw ever. Oh, yeah. yeah the same people put short shifters on these things. It's always yeah, like, why dumb, do you need to? <laughs> always the dumb racer kids who do that. Dude, this thing's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, man. How about that? Looking good? I think they're like seven or eight right here. Seven or eight? Yeah. Oh, you gotta give it more than that, man. Oh my god! Dude! Yeah, when you're alone in the car, too, it's good. it gets a little more kick up. Dude, when V Tech kicks in, that's cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were saying you couldn't really feel the difference on the, the single cam engine in your Civic, but yeah, you can definitely hear and feel. Yeah, go to, you can go to second right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, man, she's a party. Dude, this thing is a ripper. Dude, like, thanks for letting me drive this thing, man. This thing's freaking no problem, sweet. Man. Dude, I don't know, I might have to, uh, have to Dude, we'll go game. test drive some if you want. I'll come with you, man. I'd, I'd love to. This is the Rain Man driving. <laughs> yeah. So here's off cam. So in conclusion of today's video, I have to say I'm very, very impressed with the Honda S2000. I've never driven one before. I've ridden in one, but I believe it was supercharged, so it's kind of hard to hard to tell how they are stock. But that one there had no motor work done to it other than I believe the air filter on it. And I just want to give a big shout out to the Rain Man for letting me uh, film his car and letting me drive his car. It's a beautiful car. I have to say about only one thing that I probably dislike about the S2000 is the uh, where the clutch pedal engages. It's a little far out from my liking, but other than that, the S2000 is a great car. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing, and I'll see you all next time.